Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so in my last video, um, I said I had a new purchase to show you and it was unexpected. Um, I really did think after uh, my lovely Guess Affair backpack, I really am so happy with my handbag collection right now. I have definitely sold everything that I'm not using. Yes, there are a few that um, I just can't bear to part with. Yes, I don't use them that often but when it comes into the spring and summer i will get to use them so the ones that i definitely wasn't weren't reaching for sorry they've gone and i thought i was set i was pretty happy now there was a michael kors um mercer leopard print um bag that i saw and um it is a past season uh, a few are available on ebay and i will insert a picture now for you uh so yes um i was toying with this uh i really did love that uh electric blue it reminded me um leo lion has this beautiful oh sorry leo lion lv um linda um fellow youtuber uh she has the most wonderful louis vuitton and chanel collection um she has this ultra rare um, speed I think it's like a speedy 28 um, there's a name for it but I can't remember I'll uh, drop it down in the comment section below it is a super rare speedy uh, from Louis Vuitton and it's an electric blue um, I will insert a picture uh, of that now so that bag reminded me of this bag now I went into uh, the Michael Kors boutique um, a couple of weeks ago and I tested a small Mercer because it is a small Mercer um, not in that style the leopard print is the past season um, and I just I, I did they allowed me to you know take things out of my bag and put it in see if it would work and um, it is very small but it would fit everything the only thing that I didn't like about it was the fact that the uh, the main that zipper compartment you can't fit anything I think you could maybe get a card holder into it but that would be about it um, it's very, very structured. It's very boxy. Um, so all of, all of your main items would have to go into the open compartments and there's one in the front and you've got the, the zipper part and then you've got the back open compartment. What I didn't like is that they are open. There's no way of closing them. They're open and I just feel as beautiful as that bag is. And there's a great deal on it now. The ones I've, I'm watching on eBay are 140 pounds. The bag was originally like 300 pounds. Um, but I feel if I was wearing that bag, I'd be constantly patting the side or, you know, checking the pockets to see if my items were still in there. So I decided against that. And then I saw this bag and this bag was a completely unexpected purchase. Um, so um, I have, uh, I've, I've, I've dismissed that um, that bag and I'm so happy with my Michael Kors graffiti backpack that was like such a steal I included it in my deals video and um, yeah I think maybe I just was like oh I've got something Michael Kors now and I love it so much because it's real leather I have a couple of SLGs for Michael Kors um, there is a bag I do have my eye on on Michael Kors um, but it's not on sale it's from the new collection but that's way down the line something I've got to think about I've got to save up for um, uh, I can't just go out and buy it uh, you know I do have a budget <laughs> so um that will be down the line and I've got to research that bag and look more into it and everything so that'll come down in the future but um yes I decided against that um but I saw this during the week in the guest um store in Belfast and the saving was unbelievable now funnily enough um this was the first bag that I saw I'd never been to the guest store ever in Belfast, and I think it was like the middle of last year. Um, and I saw this in the window, and I think I had time to kill. I didn't want to go back to work, and well, who does, uh, on their lunch break. And um, I walked in, and I saw this. This was in the window, and I went back to get this about a week later. Um, I tried it out in the store, I decided it wasn't for me, and I ended up with the Urban Chic backpack, which I fell across by mistake, and that's how uh, it started my obsession with guests, the Urban Chic backpack, the graffiti backpack. Uh, funnily enough, this bag, at the time, uh, was £99, and it is the Vicky, 
no, it's not the Vicky tote. It's the Bobby tote. The Bobby tote is the one that turns inside out. Now, I don't like... I, I, I wouldn't want to turn a bag inside out, but with the Bobby totes, I feel like... Yes, you could turn it inside out, but there's only really one side you'd want to wear it. Because when you turn it inside out, it actually it is so obvious that you're wearing the bag inside out. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, the, I'll, I'll, I'll insert a picture now of what the inside out version looks like. This is just a typical bag that they have. So I'll insert a, a picture now. So as you can see, you can see the stitching of the handles and it, it just is obvious that it's inside out and they can say it's reversible. That's fine. I mean, you know, and it's like, oh, two bags in one. But I would never do that with a bag anyway. Apparently you can do that with Neverfulls. People turn their Neverfulls inside out. So they've got the big pocket, the inside. Uh, I don't understand that. That's no, I'm not turning a bag inside out. No, I'm just not. Doing it. So, but this bag funnily enough was the first one i went to see in the store the this is what i decided against because i saw the urban chic backpack and it was in the store out of the store on sale gone back in the sale gone and the cheapest i ever saw this bag was 65 i think and i think it was around the black friday deals so um i thought it was gone um but i couldn't believe i just I always go to Guess in Belfast maybe once every couple of weeks because it's so near my work and two of them were left in the store and they were down from £99 to £35. Couldn't believe it. And I tried it on again and my thing was this is a tote. I don't need another tote. But for what are you saving about? I can't do maths. 100 down to 35 is that 70 70 or 60 i can't do maths guys but it's a very very good saving so i picked it up but i was going to get that michael kors mercer which was 140 so for 35 i think you know i saved a lot of money and i got so i've been using it all week and i absolutely love it so yes the guess oh the guess badge and it is the bobby tote Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry. It is the Bobby Tote and uh, the Camel. There's the style number there, the SKU information. And as always, the beautiful guest dust bag. And I've been using it this week, so I can show you everything. And this is it. It is so beautiful. So this is the, uh, the beautiful brown monogram with this slogan on here in pink break the rules follow your heart hashtag love guess los angeles 1981 it is absolutely beautiful and then on the back it's just a plain monogram and it is just a very basic uh tote i don't like this closing they have like two like leather strings there they've got this tiny hole and you're supposed to put these two strings through and tie it. No, <laughs> like no one's going to be bothered with that. But it has this, um, it's included, it's uh, attached on this little D-ring on one of the handles. And it is this huge big pochette. And it comes in all of the bobby totes in different colours. And basically the idea is that you can take this out and wear this as a handbag or keep it in um, the bag and attach it to the day ring in the bag. And that is what I do. And it is brilliant. It's nearly like another purse organizer because you guys know I love my Perrier handbag organizer and I went to use that. But this has so many compartments. It's brilliant. So it is just like the it, like the if this was attached to the inside of the bag this is what the inside of the bag would look like so as with all guest bags you've got that slip pocket big slip pocket and then these two two other slip pockets here so my work pass is in there i keep my e-cigarette in there and my um card holder goes in here um i currently have my uh guest mia um logo wallet 
my Louis Vuitton coin purse, my phone, which I am using to record, and my Louis Vuitton um, six ring key holder. And it is a nice big open space there. And what you can do is if you didn't want to use that, or if let's say I was using my Perry handbag organizer, this is what it looks like without the uh, that that inside pochette. So it's just a real, just kind of like the Neverfull, really, without any pockets or anything. It's very very basic, and that's why you have the little gas badge there, because you're supposed to be able to turn it out inside out but why you would want like this very plain brown as the outside when you've got this absolutely gorgeous um exterior here no i'm never going to turn this inside out but i love the fact you could use this as a handbag i'm not going to use this as a handbag this is basically like a free handboard ha sorry handbag organizer that's what i'm seeing it as and I do like the fact that you do have the detachable um, uh, strap there and you can put it onto the D-ring here. So even if anyone did try to snatch anything, it's attached. Not that anyone would. Um, but, you know, it just gives you that added security. And you've got the zip on the top, so you do have that security. Everything is zipped in there. Um, so I have loved it this week. I've loved just being able to zip up and feel very very secure I, you wouldn't really need to secure this at all it's just a little kind of like added dec decorative feature I see this as but um, it is there if you wanted to tie it up but you would have to start untying it <laughs> and <laughs> when you're in a rush that's not going to work but I love how uh, this it's a beautiful pink against the brown monogram there it's absolutely gorgeous and i don't need another tote bag i know that but it's such a good saving originally 99 pounds down to 35 i could not pass this up and it has been so wonderful for work this week it's been so handy things i've needed to get after work i can put everything in here um and everything's secure with that zip absolutely perfect so like i said unexpected purchase but i love it i just love this pink and it's funny that this was the one i originally went to buy when i first saw this bag this is the first ever guest bag that i saw and i ended up getting the urban chic backpack and how many bags down the line i ended up getting the one i originally looked at for let me see if i can work this out okay 45 55 uh so that's 60, 65 pounds. There we go. <laughs> I told you I can't do maths. I can't do maths. So 65 pounds discount. I'm so glad I did not buy this first because the Urban Chic backpack, funnily enough, is still in the Belfast store and it has not gone on sale. It has been in the store, out of the store, in the store, out of the store. And every time I go in, I always check the price because I'm like, oh, I don't want to know if it's gone on sale. It hasn't. It hasn't. It's still £85. So that was good. That was good that I didn't pick that. But what a great saving, guys. 99 down to 35 Fantastic. It's absolutely beautiful. I've inspected everything out of this bag. There is not one defect, anything wrong with it. The straps are so comfortable. It is just a brilliant bag. You, can t you have the freedom of unclipping this from the D-ring, taking it out. And um, putting in, I, I was going to put in my own, own organizer, or you can just leave it open, put your own things in there. Such a versatile bag. You also have the option of turning it inside out, but no. when you have such a beautiful exterior and then the interior is just plain, I just can't see why you would want to do that, but at least you have the versatility to do that. But um, yeah, I think it's beautiful the way it is. So yes, guys, that was a, a very unexpected purchase. Um, I just wanted to show you, this is so cute. Um, this is from, a, I just saw, I just stumbled across these on eBay. Um, this is a UK seller. It's what she only does sell within the UK, but she has these amazing designer inspired earrings. And I just wanted to show you the Louis Vuitton ones. Aren't these 
absolutely amazing. You would think that this was from the fashion house. These are absolutely gorgeous. £8.99, guys. £8.99, free delivery, which is first class signed for. For £8.99, the seller store is called Floral Attraction 1 on eBay. Please check her out. She has some amazing stuff. Absolutely beautiful. And this also came, they came in this beautiful little velvet pouch. I just can't believe, like, I would think these were, like, seriously, these were real. Look how gorgeous they are. Oh, hang on. Let me take the back off and you can see better. Beautiful. Love these. So, just a little shout out there. I love getting deals like that. Um, I thought I saw something else. That was nearby oh yes and also when I bought my Michael Kors I forgot to say in my graffiti um, backpack video um, they had Michael Kors fragrances at the till all the women's and I picked this up from the perfume shop I tested this and this is the Michael Kors limited edition Twilight Shimmer and if you look at this bottle look at this guys Look at the sparkle on that. So it's a purple bottle with all this beautiful glitter at the top. And the glitter does not come off. It is absolutely gorgeous part of the bottle. And I, it's just a beautiful, oh, it's like a beautiful musky fragrance. It's absolutely gorgeous. But guys, if you live in the UK, this was originally £65 and it's down to £34.99 for 50 mil. That is amazing. Such a good discount so check out the perfume shop guys because they have some great deals in the michael kors fragrances i meant to say that in the uh backpack video but i totally forgot and i tested it when i was buying the backpack and i fell in love with it and look just look at the bottle look at the glitter on that absolutely gorgeous you'd buy it for the bottle alone <laughs> so it's gorgeous so there you go guys so yes that is it i am done i like i said i'm looking at a michael kors bag i'm only looking at it um it is not in the seal they are currently finishing off their seal there's a launch event next week because i bought a, a few things from michael kors in the past i've been invited to um the launch event in the store next thursday um so i might pop by after work apparently i get a free bottle or no, free bottle a free glass of champagne and I am looking into getting a bag. I've left my details with them to let me know if this color combo comes into stock, but it will be a lot of research and a bit of saving to do before I even think of uh, adding another Michael Kors to my collection. But um, it is gorgeous, but I'm not going to talk about it now. That is for a future video. And like I said, um, I have been bad recently. Um, so um, I will have to save up a bit before I even think of getting another bag but this was such a good price like I said 35 pounds for guess fantastic originally 99 I know I've said that a, mi a million times but so good and uh, that's not on the website anymore so that was it's so funny I get great deals on the website I get great deals in the store you just have to keep checking both if you're if you're near a store just keep checking all the time um, and uh, you might find a little, uh, a little uh, diamond in the rough, as they say. So um, thank you very much for watching, guys. And um, if I have anything to report with my, uh, my wish list item, then I will um, come back to you and let you know. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great weekend. Bye, guys.